Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. For your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for August 2024, these readings are for all Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, we are going to have both a money and a love reading. Today there is a Law of Attraction message linked in the description box below and happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating. May you attract your bliss, your joy, everything that makes your heart sing. And I'm also going to let you know that I am doing a special reading on Wednesday. It's been something that's been in my heart for a long time, so I'm happy to get that out there. Let's begin with a message from Edgar Casey. Rather than the stars ruling the life, the life should rule the stars, for humankind is capable of harnessing, directing, enforcing the laws of the universe. So know that you command a presence. It all begins within you. You have every single thing that you need right now to have the life of your dreams. So let's make it a reality. Let's consult the tarot about money first. Okay. Well, in the past here, we've got the devil, the five of cups, and the ace of cups, a new beginning right in the nick of time. Don't quit five minutes before that miracle happens is what they're telling you. You have Capricorn, you've got water, and you've got air, um, fire as well. But your outcome is the ace of cups. So there's something here that it feels related between the devil and the five of cups. I feel like something went exactly how you feared it would. And this devil energy, this toxicity, if it's something to do at work, it may be somebody who's quite slanderous, who's not very trustworthy, who doesn't do their job, who's not pulling their own weight. But I do feel like overall, there's an untrustworthy element to it. Now, if it was something with housing too, I feel like they pulled a fast one on you. Like there was somebody here that knew things were going to go sideways. They knew it was going to happen and they didn't say anything. And so I, I you know, for whatever reason, it, again, it may be time to separate because when we look at the devil, the devil is the ego. It's the contrast. It's the things in life that we need to learn from. We don't want to keep living here and repeating these attachments. It also, too, can be uh, tied to materialism. So if perhaps you overspent or overextended yourself, no problem. That happens. I think we've all done it at some point in our lives, right? Um, but it's learning from that. And so if you're making some kind of a plan or you've recently gotten yourself out of debt with that five of cups, I feel like you've, you've uh, to some extent, you've grieved what you've needed to over this. But I do feel like, again, th those two are very closely related. Something with the devil, if it was too much of a materialistic, or even if it was something too where you'd say, it wasn't really materialistic, I wasn't out buying you know, designer and luxury brands, but I, you know, if you were in a situation where you were just a little bit overextended and that house of cards came down on you, I feel like you have a brand new beginning that's going to be such a burden lifted. And so with this, yeah, there's disappointment, but guess what here? It's like, let's put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Let's keep moving forward. This is don't cry over spilled milk. It's not the end of the world. It's just a learning experience. Like we said, you command a presence. You command the universe. And so with the Ace of Cups, you've got a new beginning. And this is one that will make your heart sing. So the burden is lifted. Your shoulders relax a little bit. You can breathe easier in terms of money. You don't feel, because I saw somebody with what looks like a belt tied too tightly and it seemed metaphorical. It didn't seem like somebody's actually wearing their, their belt too tight. I don't know how that would apply to money. Um, but it felt like something like that, where it was like, I almost can't breathe in this situation. The new beginning you're going to be able to breathe in. As I always tell you, the, with the pain pushes until the vision pulls. Here's the vision where it's not just I have to get out of this. This is where you say, I'm doing this for a purpose. I'm seeing the beginning. I'm seeing if it's a new job, it's going to be fantastic. I do feel like you'll have lots of opportunities here. You've got growth coming in. So with that seven of wands energy, this fiery energy, you may have some small problems to navigate, but that's all they are. 
It doesn't have to extend to any more than these tiny little wands. When you're in the Seven of Wands energy, you're in alignment. So when a problem comes up, you quickly find a solution. You're able to navigate adeptly. You don't get tripped up here. And so there may be some small things, but I feel like they're trying to tell you, keep that energy small. See it for what it is, not making a big deal out of it. I've had some things like that myself this past month. And I saw them as opportunities. They really were. So let's see here what the Fortune Oracle can advise. Well, you've got the card of the snake, which is interesting with the devil. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So I feel like, too, especially with that Five of Cups, that's admiring the problem. Misery loves company. So if there's somebody around you, too, that seems to pull you back into that energy of lack and of just looking at what you don't have, it may be time, too, to separate a bit and, and go forward without the constant reminder. So let's see now about love. Well, you have the Magician, the Star, the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to have fun. And the Five of Swords is in the advice. You have Aquarius here. You have all the elements because the Magician is here. But ultimately, the Magician brings heaven to earth. So I feel like you're going to have a nice turn of events here. And with this Magician, if you've been more focused on as something entrepreneurial or again, more focused on money because that money reading was a little heavy. I'm going to be honest. I could tell somebody was coming out of something that's been a challenge. With the magician energy, I feel like it's almost, I saw a bow being tied on a package. And what I feel like they're trying to communicate is wrapping that up, wrapping up the money stuff is when it all comes forward. And I do feel like you're going to be able to make room in your life. You're going to have a relationship that's fun. And I feel like the person that you're attracting is not looking for drama. They do not want to ceaselessly talk about the saga and the drama. And so with this, it's somebody too who's in the present. They're going to be in the now. They're up for new things. They've got an upbeat energy, an upbeat attitude, a winner's energy. And so with this, you've got purity and truth and trust and new beginnings, but you also have the red robe of desire. So be clear about what you want because you're a manifesting magnet. So if you look at somebody and you think, oh man, I don't want them. The universe doesn't hear that. They just see your focus on the person and go, oh cool, you want them. We don't hear the negative. We just feel the feelings and that one was strong. So I do feel like with this, be aware of it because you start making eye contact with people and the next thing you know, they're trying to talk to you and there's a reason for it. So with the energy of the star, they're trying to tell you got better times ahead. I feel like you're pulling in the perfect companion for you. It could be an Aquarius too, by the way. Um, but there's something about them. They're going to be easygoing. They are also too, they're going to be capable of spontaneity. And so if that's something that you find you, you have a desire to have somebody who knows how to work and how to play and can kind of pick up and go do fun things in the evenings or when you don't have work, I feel like this person will meet the bill. I also feel like this person will meet a lot of the check boxes, the things that you're looking for, they already have. And I heard they cast a spell on you. Now I feel like that's figurative, okay? Because we all have free will. It's nothing, you know, that where they're taking over your will. But I feel like I keep hearing spellbound, like there's something very intoxicating about the way the two of you hit one of another, meaning the way the two of you affect one another. And so with the two of pentacles here, you've got that gigantic infinity symbol. I feel like you're going to have quite a few that are going to be interested and it's all up to you. I mean, you pick who you want and some of it's going to be flattering. Some of it might make you cringe just a little bit. That's why we talked about the eye contact. Um, but you do have one here that is surely a standout, somebody coming in hot. So with this five of swords I mentioned before, this is the advice. I feel like it's also too an advisement not to overthink things, not to dwell and linger on negative thoughts because those just become stronger. And I also feel like it's a representation about this person's internal desire to just be free and easy and in love. They're not looking for this stuff again. So let's see 
What else do you need to know from the whispers of love? Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So know that you are love. You are the essence and the creation of love. You create your reality. You command the laws of the universe. Good things are on the way for you, Leo. I love you and I'll be back again soon.